Anguttara Nikaya, The Numerical Discourses. Eka Nipata, Book of the Ones, Suttas 51 to 60. Achara Sanghata Vagga, Snap of a Finger. Sutta 51. Luminously radiant, Bhikkhus, is the heart. However, it becomes spoiled by the entrapment of the corrupting defilements. This, the untrained, ordinary, dense person, the Putujjana, does not know as it really is. And because of this reason, I declare that for such an untrained, ordinary, dense person, there can be no development of the heart. Sutta number 52 Luminously radiant bhikkhus is the heart, and it is released from the entrapment of the defilements. This the noble disciple does know as it really is, and because of this reason I declare that for such a noble disciple there most certainly is development of the heart. Sutta number 53 Bhikkhus, if the bhikkhu were to practice and radiate universal benevolent loving-kindness, metta, even during a snap of a finger, he is to be declared a bhikkhu who is able to attain to jhana, living and training according to the dispensation of the teacher. Thus, he would be blamelessly partaking of the food offered to him by the public, and therefore not being blameworthy in consuming all that is offered to him. And if this can be said about a bhikkhu who pursues metta for only a small fraction of time, then how much more could be said about the bhikkhu who is fully dedicated and immersed into the practice of universal benevolent loving-kindness throughout his life. Sutta number 54 Bhikkhus, if the bhikkhu were to work on developing metta even during a snap of the finger, he is to be declared a bhikkhu who is able to attain to jhana, living and training according to the dispensation of the teacher. Thus, he would be blamelessly partaking of the food offered to him by the public, and therefore not being blameworthy in consuming all that is offered to him. And if this can be said about the bhikkhu who cultivates by developing metta for such a small fraction of time, then how much more could be said about the bhikkhu who is fully dedicated and immersed in the cultivation of metta throughout his life. Sutta number 55 Bhikkhus, if the bhikkhu were to stay with and continue on permeating metta in his heart, even for a snap of a finger, he is to be declared a bhikkhu who is able to attain to jhana living and training according to the dispensation of the teacher. Thus, he would be blamelessly partaking of the food offered to him by his supporters, and therefore not being blameworthy in consuming all that is offered to him. And if this can be said about a bhikkhu who shines genuine metta from his heart for such a small fraction of time, then how much more could be said about the bhikkhu who is fully dedicated and immersed in suffusing and permeating metta throughout his life. Sutta number 56 Bhikkhus, whatever you are to witness in life, all those phenomena that are unskillful, harmful, and all those that are evil and unwholesome, they all stem from and are led by none other than the mind. Therefore, mind with its very intentions is their chief, dictating whatever is to come next, trailing right behind and following it obediently. Sutta number 57 
bhikkhus, whatever you are to witness in life, all those phenomena that are skillful, beneficial, and all those that are good and wholesome, they all stem from and are led by none other than the mind. Therefore, mind with its very intentions is their chief, dictating whatever is to come next, trailing right behind and following it obediently. Sutta number 58 Because I do not know of a single thing more damaging than heedless carelessness, which causes the arising of evil and unskillful states that were absent, while at the same time obliterating all the good qualities of the heart that had already arisen and present, by pushing them away into oblivion. Therefore, by living an intoxicated life with negligence and careless heedlessness, your unskillful qualities will increase, while your skillful ones dwindle and disappear. Sutta number 59 Because I do not know of a single thing more helpful than attentive heedfulness which causes the arising of good and skillful states that were absent, while at the same time obliterating all the evil qualities of the heart that had already arisen and present by pushing them away into oblivion. Therefore, by living an attentive life with diligence, your skillful qualities will increase, while your unskillful ones will dwindle and disappear. Sutta number 60 Because I do not know of a single thing more damaging than laziness, which causes the arising of evil and unskillful states that were absent, while at the same time obliterating all the good qualities of the heart that had already arisen and present by pushing them away into oblivion. Therefore, by living a lazy life, your harmful and evil qualities will only increase, while your skillful ones will dwindle and die. Sad, sad, sad.